Some people are still using LaTeX, and as much as that breaks my heart, I can't just cry about it. I have to actively take a role in changing that. So that's what this video is. It should convince you to use types. And if you somehow don't know what types is yet, it's just a modern replacement. But I would consider it more of a superset to LaTeX because it has so much more functionality. But first, to address the elephant of the room, am I sponsored by Post Grape Nut Cereal? Sadly, not yet. I'm just giving them free product placement because I enjoy them as a company. The typed web experience mostly comes through the editor overleaf. I know for the people concerned about Vim and stuff, I'll get to that later, but basically, Types has its own equivalent, which is controlled by the Types company itself. I don't even know if they're a company, they're very open sourced. But Types.app is where you reach it, and it's got like a, an interface just like Overleaf. So if I open something up that won't get me cancelled, I've got a project here that has like a ton of computation in it, and you can see it'll live re-render it, like basically instantly, quicker than Overleaf can re-render. It's also got full Vim support, if you care about that, so I can select things, and it's like full, full Vim support. I can run my namesake command norm and insert stuff. Do anything you want with the Vim emulation, it's great. You can also share links with people. This is great for collaborating. I use this in class with people to do labs. If you want to like make your thing look more professional, it's very easy because you can get multiple cursors in it, Vim mode and everything, instant compilation. It's excellent. And then you can just download a PDF. All right, and then the package experience. Types Universe has just a ton of packages on it and basically everything you could ever need. Like, I, I know a lot of people saying, oh, well, I have, like, XYZ LaTeX package that I need to write textbooks and stuff. I don't write advanced physics or biology or whatever textbooks, so I can't really relate to that, but I'm sure, like, that's a valid argument. But to me, it seems like, based on the Discord, there's, like, someone in every field at least working on some kind of template or package to draw anything. And this package, I don't really know how to pronounce it, but it basically lets you build up things that will let you draw pretty much anything you can imagine. And people have made like circuit diagrams and I don't know, there's there's just everything. I find it hard to believe there's a package on LaTeX that couldn't be emulated in Typest because LaTeX is like weird macros and Typest is Turing complete pretty much. I think it might actually be. So yeah. And then the other big thing is a lot of people just considering it as a replacement, but types is so much more than that. It's I think of it as a language that compiles to PNG or PDF or JPEG or any of those formats you want. And the reason for that is it, it has like full language features like for loops and if statements and all of that. And being able to compile to an image is actually so much more useful than you probably think. Because I use it in board game design to create and lay out different assets. You could use it for any number of things to like auto-generate flyers or cards, business cards, whatever. People use it to auto-generate their resume. And another great thing about it, let's jump over to the command line, is you can actually like pipe std in and out out of it and it has just so many flags and stuff. It's got a bunch of sub-commands that you'd have to go into the man pages for, but you can write very advanced scripts with it to do any of this stuff. You can also like control things all the way down to like pixels per inch and you can pass in parameters to be rendered. It's just like you'd have to read the whole manual, but it's huge. And then, the, oh, the install process is like worlds better than LaTeX where you have to install LaTeX Make or MacTex or some huge, huge binary. It's just like a very quick, you can even install it with Cargo, but whatever package manager you're using, it's just like tiny binary. I've already got it installed here, but you get the idea. It's like just an instant install pretty much compared to the size of LaTeX. And the command line experience, I'll just walk through that really quick too. So let's create a, let's just make a testing directory and then create a main.type. And then that was inefficient. I should have just done one command to do that, but whatever, you get the idea. So let's just make some math. Uh, an integral from one to 10 of x dx and you have to do a space here and actually i think it's integral yeah um, and then let's do actually one to infinity just for the sake of more symbols and to get multi-line math actually too i'll do that so to compile this all you have to do is types compile 
file and then the name of the file. And then it'll compile it. If I list it, you can see there's a PDF there. If you want to recompile it every time the file changes, for instance, if you're using Zathra or something to preview it, there's types watch, which is a lot less of a headache. And then it'll just recompile every time something is changed. But the reason I didn't open that is actually there's a better way, in my opinion. And that is through the types to preview plugin for NeoVim. It's through the LSP client called TinyMist, which is maintained by a guy who's like so, he responds to every comment and troubleshoots everything with you. Just an awesome dude. I've worked a little with him on maintaining some of the docs and like the community on types is so excellent. So anyway, yeah, you, you can compile types to HTML and actually it, I think it's like a renders fragments of SVG or something. The guy who wrote it is like a, computer science genius who he wrote some paper about incremental computation or something or incremental compiling of PDF shards or something it's some brilliant thing that makes types like legendarily fast so what you can do is I have leader P to open it up and it opens up a web preview and that's a little weird but it's like exactly the same as the PDF this would export and then when you type stuff it just like instantly updates in the browser you can see like even if I have something like center command, oh, I think I need parentheses. Oh, align center, my bad. Let's make that a title. You can see, beautiful, all working great. And then a couple other things just to showcase like the language's features, like the, the programming language features. You have functions, so I can do like let a equals and then do an arrow, I think. Yeah. And so you could pass in parameters and say, like, to render content, hello, and then B, and then we'll call the parameter B. And then I could call A, you know, with, I could, let's do a for loop, actually, for I and range. It's kind of like Python. And then I'll just call A with I. And let's see. Yeah. So you could do, and there's like any arbitrary styles, anything else. That's just an example of a for loop. And you know, you have if statements and there's first class functions. There's a language formatter for it and everything. The experience is just like head and shoulders above LaTeX in terms of installing and compiling and all of that. And you have full control over like the page size. Like immediately everything is native. So like set page and then width, like one EM height. 1 em hello and then you can see like tiny little page so that's great for exporting images and stuff if i wanted to do that there's i think it's just like types types compile let's actually do types compile help maybe no it would be types help compile there's a way to control the format i imagine it it might just be dash dash or dash f so types compile dash f png and then maybe f equals png actually and then let's do main.type and then boom compile to a png if we open that up you can see yeah perfect same as the web preview and then i also have like an extra function in my config called export and this allows me to Just render types documents like that so that's that's all well and good um, just how much smoother it is than LaTeX all of that is it's just brilliant and the workflow stuff cannot be understated either some guy in my comments said like he's a photographer and he has to he like prints out cards to sell at a local market or something and he was thinking about using it you can control the as I mentioned like the resolutions or the CLI like everything down to the smallest detail is controlled and if it's not because types is, is like a young language, the maintainer of this is like actively responding to anyone who asks in the Discord and will update it. And there's like just tons of work done and everything. The community is growing. It's like huge. It's so much more easy to get into than LaTeX. And the programming implications of being able to compile to images and PDFs are just huge. And one more thing I wanted to show, like creating from templates. So if we search something up in Types Universe, say for instance, like a resume. Um, let's grab bone resume. That sounds cool. 
So you can do typed init and then, oh, that was attached. So that should have created bone resume, okay. Let's actually vim in there to see what's going on. Vim, I'm just gonna vim right here. Bone resume, let's preview that bad boy. Oh wow, there's even some English. Um, so yeah, that's how you create a template. You just kind of import, you can see import at preview. These are all stored in a Git repository. And that's how you submit your own templates. Um, but yeah, basically you can grab any of those things, super hassle-free. There's like great documentation for all of it. It's great for making resumes, papers, anything like that. It's good for math and also non-math. I don't write anything in Google Docs or Microsoft Word or LibreOffice anymore. Um, so yeah. Hopefully that got you to try Typest if you're still sticking with LaTeX because it's working for you and established. I mean, I can't really blame you, but yeah, hopefully you feel bad about it now for the rest of your time on this earth.